All right, next topic. Inferences based upon proportional statistics or proportion statistics. This problem is a pain, all right? And, <laughs> excuse me, the reason why this problem is a pain, and maybe, I don't know, maybe you crushed it out real fast, and that'd be great, all right? But, man, you have to read this thing really carefully because, and you're going to discover this down the road with Alex, is that Alex likes to mess with you in terms of, like, are you reading the problem carefully? You know, because I meant not this and really that, even though it said this. <laughs> and this is one of the first problems where you kind of run into that. Yeah, I can definitely do histograms for group data. Um, yeah, we'll get to that one here in just a sec. So, but anyway, in a, let's let's knock this one out here real quick. So, you need to fill in these boxes here, okay, based upon the information that it gives you up here, all right? And what you're going to do is you're going to calculate a proportion. And a proportion is just part and whole, okay? So, and I'll show you what I mean by that. We're going to do a lot of stuff with proportions in this class, all right? And so, but this is, I think this is the first place where you actually kind of see this stuff. So, in a study of pain relievers, 25 people were given product A and 17 experienced relief. In the same study, 100 people were given product B and 74 experienced relief fill in the blanks of the statement below to make the most reason make make the statement the most reasonable possible okay so which one performed better all right so the way you figure this out is we're going to calculate a proportion on both of them so product A 17 people experienced relief out of 25 and so that one is dot six eight remember that okay Whereas product B, this one's easy, okay, because it's 100 people and 74, so 74%. See, look at this. Look at these sneaky guys right here. They said failed, failed to, <laughs> to get relief. This is the number that got relief, all right, so we need actually the complement of this. You can either just, you know, subtract this from 1 to get that, or you could just go back and redo it, all right, so... Um, 25 out of 17, I'll do it real longhand here. So we actually, in product A, are looking for people who failed to get relief. And so that would be, um, oh wait, I just jacked that up. So 25 minus 17, leaving us eight. I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> so it's eight. <laughs> so it would be eight out of 25, failed to get relief on product A or dot three two. Okay, um, just doing a longhand there for you. So the dot three two, whereas this one would be what um, twenty six percent um, on product B failed to get relief. Okay, so product B performed better because twenty six percent failed to get relief, right? Whereas product A, whereas um, thirty two percent failed to get relief with product A. All right, moment of truth. Ah, there we go. <laughs>